Good morning listeners and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. Today Asian markets are trading with mixed gains and losses. Especially Taiwan is doing well. It is up nearly 1.25%. Otherwise all the other indices are trading with nominal gains and losses. US markets also closed almost at an unchanged levels. However, if we go through with uh, 10 year and 2 year bond yield, then uh, 2 year bond yield is now trading exactly at 10 year bond yield or it is little bit below than the 10 year bond yield which indicates that the pace of the slowing down of the economy us economy is faster than expected which actually um, results in uh, giving recessionary sort of effects and that's the reason uh, we saw some uh, weakness in equities in last two days uh, japan's currency japanese yen is also strengthening and it is now around 143.5 uh, there also the uh, wage rate is increasing which is actually concerning and uh, that's the reason we are of the view that we are going to see some neutral sort of activity in our market however gift nifty is indicating nearly 100 125 points higher opening as compared to its previous close If we see the market is opening somewhere close to twenty five thousand three hundred, then there we should look for taking profit on long positions, or one can even look for reducing long positions around twenty five thousand three hundred levels. Till the markets are not crossing twenty five thousand three fifty, we are going to see range bound sort of activity. But on the dismissal of twenty five thousand three fifty, we could see some short covering, and in that case. the next level to watch out for would be 25500 in next one or two days of time but uh, on the downside if we see the market is breaking 25000 on a closing basis then it's negative so accordingly like we have to design our trading strategy bank nifty is is indi- it's showing exhibiting lackluster activity until the bank nifty is not crossing 51800 and closing above the same we are going to see range bound sort of activity but above 51800 the chances of hitting 52200 would turn bright other indices are not participating and we need to be more and more stock specific so in that space uh, keep a watch on those sectors uh, which are the beneficiaries of fall in crude prices like paint industry cement stocks even auto companies they can do well in this particular so scenario of the market that's all from my side with this i'm ending today's call thank you very much for listening to me and have a great day to all of you